Let's discuss a few tips for a good assembly structure. First tip, use subassemblies where you can. Most complex designs can be broken up into subassemblies, making them easier to manage. There are a few ways in Onshape to create a subassembly. The first is to create a new assembly in your document. To do this, click the plus or insert new element icon in the bottom left corner and select Create Assembly. A new assembly tab appears and you can start inserting and mating parts into place. Once created, insert that assembly into the top level assembly by clicking Insert in the top level assembly and choosing Assemblies from the filter. In Onshape, subassembly mates are respected at the top level. You may have seen this referred to as flexible subassemblies in other CAD systems. When creating an assembly in Onshape, you generally don't want to fix more than one part. This is especially important for subassemblies as fix is not respected when inserting a subassembly into another assembly. Fix one part and either group or mate the other parts of the assembly in place. Next up, let's discuss creating subassemblies on the fly. If you've already inserted parts into an assembly and then realized those parts should be in a separate subassembly, it's easy to create a subassembly on the fly. Right click a part from the instance list and you will see two options. Move to New Subassembly and Create Empty Subassembly. If you click Create Empty Subassembly, Onshape will create a new blank assembly. You can see the new assembly added to the instance list and a new tab for the assembly in the document. It's important to point out that this new subassembly contains no parts. If you wish to add parts to the subassembly, one of the easiest ways is to left click drag the part into that subassembly. Mates between those parts carry forward into this new subassembly. Move to New Subassembly will create a new subassembly and move the selected parts and mates shared between those parts to a new subassembly. This means you can select parts from your instance list, right click, and move to a new subassembly quickly. Another tip for a good assembly structure is to use the group feature whenever possible. In Onshape, we can model multiple parts together in the same part studio. When inserting those part studios into an assembly, they automatically come in the same position they were modeled in. If your parts do not move relative to one another, use the group feature to avoid mating each part individually. Grouping allows you to capture the spatial relationships between parts and have fewer mates in the assembly. You may use the group feature on any parts in an assembly. The parts do not have to come from the same part studio. Here's an example of a pneumatic cylinder assembly with over a dozen parts. You can see we created two groups, one for the barrel end caps and tie rods, and another for the moving components like the piston, cylinder rod, and rod clevis. We only need one cylindrical mate to define the assembly motion by grouping these components. These are just a few tips to help with the assembly organization and management. The next video reviews hiding and showing techniques in an assembly.